everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the new sewing pattern releases for October. This is, if you haven't come across it before or new to us, um, we do a roundup of all the indie pattern releases over the last month. Um, there is a blog post down below um, that you can look at because I kind of pick some of my favourites and then there's a link to all of them. And um, they're usually about 40 or 50 each month so it's quite a big sort of chunk of patterns to look through so yeah do make sure you go and check that out so um i hope everyone is okay um as well as okay as you can be at the moment um yeah it's um funny time <laughs> i think that's the only thing i can say isn't it really um anyway i am going to get going because i've got two four, six, seven really great patterns to talk you through. And yep, I don't want to gabble on for too long. So the first pattern I've got to talk to you about is the unisex Arlo track jacket from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes um, six to 34. Um, I put this in because I really like the shape of this. I also, if you're in England, you we are going into we're in a lockdown again, so we're working at home. This feels like something that you could is very nice for being at home, and also you could wear it to feel like to work out in. So this pattern, the thing that I really liked about it, so it's quite close fitting. You can see it's got a um, funnel neck, zip up the front. Um, I really like the seam lines around just sort of below the waist. Um, it's also got pockets. I think this would be a really nice project to do. It also is calling out for some colour blocking, I think, with different kind of sweatshirtings or jersey. And yeah, you could make this in a sweatshirt or a jersey. Um, obviously the jersey would be slightly more lightweight, but um, it would also be lovely in a kind of sweatshirting, be really soft and cosy. Um, I, I just really liked it. I just thought it was a really interesting pattern. The other thing which I haven't said is that it's unisex. So, it's great you can buy yourself one and then you can make one for someone else and you feel like you're being very generous um i think it'd be quite quick to make as well so yeah i really liked the shape of this and i just thought it was worth you know putting it out there next up we have got the ella wrap dress and top from pattern society this comes in sizes uk 8 to 22 um i loved this and i thought it was really nice to have some like a, like a pretty nice dress because I feel like there haven't been loads of releases of this sort of stuff in this year or for obvious reasons um but I love it and I just thought it was worth popping in so this pattern comes with um it's three variations there's a sleeveless version which I'm showing you there's a long sleeve version which is shorter um, but of course you could have it longer if you wanted and there's also a top version and I really like the top version I think it's a really beautiful pattern um, it's got gathering up here sort of at the um, what's the word <laughs> at the shoulder seam um, which means that you don't need a bust start um, it's just a lovely pattern I think it's kind of a really useful dress I think it's something that you would wear lots you could totally have this as your like ultimate summer dress but I think you can make this in something like a lightweight suiting and it would be a really lovely winter dress so I think there's quite a lot of you can get quite a lot of use out of this pattern and um, yeah so I thought it was worth popping in next up we have got um the maris bralette and panty pdf from madeline and um, we're really excited to have her pdfs on the site we haven't had them before so they they've just arrived this week um i love this pattern i think it's beautiful if you're thinking about making lingerie this is definitely one check to check out so in terms of the sizing obviously with this it's slightly more um complicated because of the uh, bras and all of that so it comes in it's approximately a UK 6 to 26 there are three bust cup options so there's a b c d e f um, and that cut those bust cup options come in all the size range as well um, it's just I thought it was a really beautiful pattern the thing that I think is interesting about it is that the bra is front opening which I love um, I think it's a really pretty pattern I love that you can use different fabrics um, her I mean she really does if you haven't seen her stuff before she's like really nails sort of um, lingerie sewing and makes some really kind of 
they're quite fashion forward which is quite unusual I think I yeah and I really like that she's also bringing it ones without underwire because I know a lot of us are move, slightly moving away from that at the moment so I thought this was a really nice one if you're thinking about sewing some lingerie definitely go and check this out and it's got a really good it's nice to have lots of size ranges and especially bust cup options which obviously is pretty essential if you're making a bra so yeah I really love that one Next up, I have got the Overlap Shirt Dress and Jacket from Dorata Davies. This comes in sizes 4 to 24. So, I really, really love this pattern. It's a bit, um, what's, well, I like the fact that you can make it and use it in so many different ways. I love the idea that it's a jacket um, and a dress and kind of like a blouse. Um, really beautiful shape. I love this sort of feel. Um, it's got a slight, slightly sort of Japanese feel to it. Um, big sort of, um, what's the word? Kind of a, a big, um, <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Um, kind of like a placket, I guess. A big giant placket that goes all the way around, wraps at the side, tie. It's actually quite a simple um, construction. It looks to me, it's from the line drawing and from her, I think, Oh no, it's, it's a drop sleeve, um, but it's a kind of quite a wide sleeve as well. You're not going to have too many fitting issues with this. Um, I just think it's a really useful pattern. I also like the variant where you can see where she's got it wearing it open as a jacket and it would look fantastic as a dress. I think that if I was making this as a dress, I would make it in something really feminine and drapey and it would look amazing can you imagine this in a crepe it would just in a black crepe it would look so elegant um i love it i think it's a really great pattern and definitely worth having a look at it is unlined as well um it's got kind of um facings and stuff on the inside but no lining so it's actually in terms of the construction it isn't going to be too tricky so next up I've got the Causeway Bomber Jacket from Itch to Stitch. This comes in sizes um, UK 6 to 36. Um, there are loads of different cup, bus cup options. There's A, B, C, D and double D. And um, yeah, it's split into two different size bandings. So the the smaller size banding has more bus cup options than the larger size the larger kind of range have the kind of top end of the bus cup options if that makes sense um this is such a great pattern and it's really interesting so that there are quite a few bomber jacket patterns out on the market i really like this one because i think it's it's more interesting and i think you're gonna find fitting this a lot better and you're going to get a better kind of looking garment so the interesting thing about this is it almost has princess seams um, down the front. This seam line which you can see on the line drawing has um, sneaky little pockets, kind of inseam pockets, which is great. I mean who doesn't want some pockets? I can't imagine wanting a coat ever without a pocket. The um, the arms have is a two-piece sleeve which is really nice. Is it two-piece? I think it's a two-piece, yes. From the line drawing it looks like it's a two-piece sleeve which is great it means you get more f you can fit it better um her patterns are really fantastic so if you are thinking about a pommer jacket i would highly recommend this i think it would be a really really lovely make and yeah i think the thing i quite like about this the way that she's wearing it is it almost looks like a cardigan rather than a jacket something that you would wear at home rather than like out you know as your coat and you can definitely fit this underneath a normal coat as well so yeah I think kind of if if I was doing it, I'd think of it more as a jumper than a proper jacket um, but yeah I thought it was lovely next up I've got a kids pattern it's the baby child mini pixie tee and dress from chalk and notch this comes in sizes 12 months to 12 years so I think this is a really great pattern because you get you could use this so many times and the shapes on them are really classic and I think you would, yeah, use it a lot. So it's a, basically a very sweet kind of quite simple top and dress, um, kind of like a sweat sweater dress, kind of sweatshirt 
Um, there are lots of different variations as well so you can really tweak it and make it your own. I just like the idea that you could make this for a one year old and then still be using it you know five years later when they've got bigger so um, it's and also I think you could use this as a t-shirt pattern as well as a jumper pattern so I think it's quite good value for money um, yeah it's and there's also another pattern that kind of, that they have released as well so they released two at the same time so it's definitely worth going and checking both of those out um, there'll be a link to everything in the blog post down below so last but not least I felt like we needed a winter coat as we are properly in winter and it feels very chilly today um, in London. I've included the hunter coat from Fibre Mood, Ugh, I mean oh, sizes before I get into this, um, sizes 6 to 30 um, UK sizes. How freaking good is this coat? I mean to me this is like coat perfection. I think it's beautiful, it's a classic shape, I love that it's really long. You could also, if you bought it, you could make it shorter as well. I think this is the sort of pattern that would stand the test of time. I think you, if you spent a lot of time or like tweaking it and making it perfect fit, you can make this over and over again and it would never go out of style. It's gorgeous, it's slightly oversized and it's got all the proper tailoring. So it's double breasted, it's got the proper lapels, the proper collar. It's got lovely pockets as well. I mean, you're gonna learn a lot with this make. I will say with Fibre Mood sewing patterns, um, you can, they, you kind of, their, their, their instructions are less handholdy. So I would definitely, obviously this is a slightly more advanced make anyway, um, but you need to sort of know what you're doing if you're using their patterns. That would be the one thing I would say about them. Um, the instructions are good, but they don't. They're, they're a different feel to, for example, Tilly, where she shows you every tiny little detail step. This is you're a bit more on your own with this, but they are good. And if you have made some outerwear before, then you'll be fine with this. So that is it from me. I hope that was good. Do go and check out the blog post. Hang in there, everyone. Let's just um, take everything one day at a time and sending you all lots of love. We'll see you soon. Bye.